again, YouTubers, to another Game of Thrones Death Match. <laughs> this time around, we are going to do Eddard Stark, the Lord of Winterfell, versus Randall Tarly of Hornhill. This is going to be an incredible matchup of two older, wise commanders in A Song of Ice and Fire, and I can't wait to see who comes out as victorious. It's a battle of Valyrian blades, a bunch of staunch men, and I am so excited to see the results. Now, first we're going to start off with a little bit of a background about the two combatants here. First, we'll start off with Ned Stark. Ned was born in Winterfell by his father, Rickard Stark, with his brothers Brandon and Benjen and sister Lyanna. Growing up very stern, but he was eventually sent to the Vale to be raised by John Aaron, and he grew up as a wonderful young man alongside of Robert Baratheon, taught wonderful wisdom and how to fight and become a true warrior. Eventually his family, Ricard and Brandon, ended up dying in King's Landing after Lyanna was captured by Rhaegar Targaryen and they ended up making him the Lord of Winterfell because by birthright he was a Stark that was pretty much left. He joined in Robert's Rebellion trying to take back his sister and overthrow King Aerys Targaryen. They ended up succeeding. He ended up going into the throne room to take the throne for Robert and he found Jaime Lannister there and there's always been kind of a little bit of an issue between him and the Lannisters ever since they pillaged King's Landing for themselves. Uh, Eddard Stark, he also helped Robert fight off the Greyjoys in the Greyjoy Rebellion, eventually became Hand of the King many years down the road until his eventual death by betrayal from Peter Baelish, and he has a few different kids to survive him that you probably all know. Sansa, you have Bran, you have Rickon, you have Arya, Rob, and you have his illegitimate child in Jon Snow. But that's an Eddard Stark, let's break it to Randall Tarly. Now, Randall Tarly is the Lord of Hornhill, which pledges fealty to the Tyrell family. He is known very much as a brute, fierce, intelligent battle commander that is one of the most well-respected warriors in all of Westeros. He, as a matter of fact, was the only one to hand Robert a loss during Robert's Rebellion. He did fight on the side of the Targaryen army, which kind of makes him kind of a bad guy, but he's also a total badass at the same time. In addition to handing Robert a loss, he helped lay siege to Storm's End with Mace Tyrell's troops. And when he did get into a battle himself in a hand-to-hand -hand combat, he's known as a very fierce warrior. He wields a Valyrian steel blade like Eddard Stark. It's called Heartsbane. It's really awesome, and it's been in his family for years. Although by some he's considered a brutal and fierce man, he is absolutely someone that likes to seek justice, and he dishes it out in a way that he feels is very rightly so, not just going around willy-nilly like the mountain and just killing people. Now, if you don't know who he is yet, Randall Tarly is the father of Samwell Tarly, who's up at the wall with Jon Snow. Um, when Sam became 18 years old, he took him aside and said, basically, here's the deal, Sam. You're a coward, and I don't want you inheriting my lands and this weapon. So you're either going to go join the Night's Watch so you can't inherit any of this, or we're going to go hunting, and I'm going to kill you and make it look like an accident. So as we said before, Randall, kind of a fierce dude, but he's fair in that he gave his son a chance to try something else. So that's Randall Tarly in a nutshell. Fight! For the speed category, we're going to assume we have our fighters in their prime condition and not the old men that they are currently or well was because Ned's dead, but we're going to assume they're in that condition and that they can move fairly well. Now, they both wield two-handed great swords, which makes them a little bit slower than the average warrior, but they'll both have one. Now, from everything I've read, which has not added a lot to this, due to the fact that Randall is known as a very ferocious warrior cutting down people in battle, now, I don't mistake that for being miscalculated or being wild, but he is a ferocious warrior. Whereas Ned, I imagine, is a bit more calculated and in a classic battlefield commander way, even when he's in the middle of a melee. I'm going to give the edge to Randall Tarly in this one as far as speed goes. I don't read that any of them are particularly fast. So we're going to give Randall about a 7.5 in speed and we'll give Ned a 7, which is fairly average. Randall barely beats him out in the average speed category for me. Fight! All right, well, this category is going to be fairly straightforward. We have Ned wielding ice, which is an incredible two-handed greatsword. And then we have Randall Tarly, 
also wielding a two-handed greatsword. And just imagine these two guys taking their swords and clashing them with each other. Because that's exactly what will happen if these two were to fight. Now, because they both have the same kind of sword, basically, I'm not going to go like, well, this person's stronger so they'd wield it better. I'm not going to do anything like that. We're just going to go off of the two swords. We're going to be very clear. I've been given Valyrian blades about a nine in every other one of my videos. I'm going to give these two a nine and a half because they're also great swords. Fight! Now for this category, this is going to be where these two men truly thrive as opposed to the average warrior in A Song of Ice and Fire. These two are hardened, tested battle commanders. Ned Stark, known as a good swordsman for the most part, he is more prominently known for leading battalions in Robert's Rebellion and also the Greyjoy Rebellion. In fact, he's the one that ended up really taking the Iron Throne in the end for Robert by leading Robert's troops all the way to King's Landing when Robert was ailing. He is very, he's shown very much that he has great experience on the battlefield, both as a warrior and also as a commander, and he basically let that go for the rest of his life and was only taken down because he was betrayed, not wanting to play the politics of Westeros. Now, Randall Tarly, same thing. I started off this in his background by saying that Randall Tarly is the only one that gave Robert a loss during the rebellion, which is incredible. Stannis, another amazing commander in Westeros, he's someone that very much looks up to Randall Tarly and wanted him on his side, even though Randall Tarly committed to Renly during the uh, War of the Five Kings. But Randall, also as a warrior, he has survived too. He's gotten in the middle of his battles when he was fighting for the Targaryens during Robert's Rebellion, and he ended up surviving there as well. Everyone knows him as a brutish guy. I mean, Samwell is very much not happy with his father for many reasons, but one of them is he's nothing like his dad. So take Samwell, the exact opposite, Randall Tarly. So you can see how Ned and Randall have a great matchup when, this, when it comes down to this. You know, uh, when I think about this, the both men have incredible experience as far as being a warrior, both from the commanding side and also from the warrior side, which has been a little bit different compared to many of my other death matches. And that's why it's going to be hard to kind of equate here. But I'm going to have to come up with a score, and I think that Ned Stark is going to get an 8.5 in this category, and Randall Tarly is going to get a 9.0. Randall will win this one because I feel that Combined with how, finding out how ferocious of a warrior he is, also with the how impressed I am personally that someone from the Tarly house, which is not as highly regarded as House Stark, it was able to become like one of the top commanders within their forces. I think that that's fairly impressive. It shows a bit of prowess from their side. I mean, he helped lay siege to Storm's End with Mace Tyrell's troops. It didn't work out ultimately in the end, but that's because Ned had already taken King's Landing by that point. And to kind of count against Ned, although he did take King's Landing, that was only so easy because the Lannisters ended up entering the war at that point and making it very easy for that to happen. So, truthfully, this is one of the ones where I wanted to give it a tie, but I think I'm going to pick a side on this one, and I'm going to lean more towards Randall Tarly. Fight! In the strength category, we have Ned Stark and Randall Tarly. Randall is known just like Ned to be kind of a brutish, very uh, cold-ish demeanor, feeling very staunch. And physically, as they're built, they're both big ermen. Ned is a little bit bigger. Unfortunately, he's not like his brother, Brandon Stark, which would have been a better matchup, probably. But he is very much the northern build, to a degree. Now, in this category, I'm going to have to say that most likely based off of build, based off being able to wield the two-handed greatsword. They're both very strong people for the average warrior, but I'm going to give Ned the edge in this one due to a little bit increase in size, and he's going to get an 8.5, and Randall's going to get an 8 in strength. Fight! As for both of these competitors, they both grew up with someone teaching them about books and stuff. So, we're gonna say that they're both equal in that category or that side of things, so they've gotten learned in traditional learning. Now, from the battlefield side of it, as far as like a warrior's intelligence, which I do factor in when I do these videos. I don't know if I make that clear enough, but being able to use strategy as a part of your fighting also goes into it as well as the normal book smarts. Now, 
It seems to me that this may be my standard cop-out category. I don't know how to say one is necessarily smarter than the other. It seems that they're both very intelligent. It seems like they both know what they're doing on the battlefield. They know what they're doing outside of the battlefield. The only difference is these two characters, particularly Ned, of course, they sometimes let their better judgment and some other feelings towards justice get in the way of actual strategic thinking. So, I don't, you know, like Ned being beheaded wasn't because he was dumb and didn't realize it couldn't happen. It was because, frankly, he just felt honorable. And that was it. So, um, I'm going to I'm gonna do a cop out here and I'm going to say that they're going to get an 8.5 because it's clear that they're very bright guys. They're very good on the battlefield as far as commanders go and also as warriors. But they're great commanders and they've also just learned growing up um, the different book things. So, we, ultimately they're going to tie in this one. They're going to get 8.5. Now, with everything said and done, all the categories looked at, after two ties, we have Randall Tarly winning over Eddard Stark. Two to one to two. Now, some of my subscribers or just random commenters get really mad when I do ties. Listen, I'm sorry, I can't help it. There's no numbers to go by in the books, so I don't know what to tell you when it comes to this. I can't say that Heartsbane is better than Ice. That's a tie, I don't know what to say. Although, Heartsbane is totally cooler looking, in my opinion. But, that's a tie. And as far as other things like intelligence, there's nothing that says one is way smarter than the other. They're both bright. They just do it different ways. So that's a tie as well. Now in the other categories where I chose a side one way or another, I think Ned appears to me to be a little bit stronger just from his upbringing. I'm assuming he's a little more hardened in that way. Randall Tarly, he is hardened. I'm assuming because he is a little bit smaller from what I've been seeing that he is probably a little bit quicker, if I had to guess. His ferociousness usually lends in battle to being quick with your fighting. And lastly, with his battle experience, they both have great experience, but I feel like Randall Tarly's probably had to kind of claw his way to his position in his armies, rather than at Ned, who inherited being Lord of Winterfell, which is a massive position. He was the Warden of the North, whereas Tarly is... He is you know, under a great house, the Tyrells, but he's not automatically thrust into a position at the top because it was never his army necessarily to command. But that'll do it for this deathmatch video. Let me know down in the comments below if you have a disagreement about my final result here. Because you know what? That's very possible, and that's part of the reason why I do these videos. Because I want you to disagree with me to some degree. But make sure you watch some of my other deathmatch videos. Like you can watch the one from last week right up here between Sir Dunk and Robert Baratheon, which was a pretty cool one in my opinion. And make sure you look out for some of my other unboxing videos, some more Game of Thrones, and also some Marvel videos this week. Thank you so much again for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, do whatever you can. And then in the meantime, you have an amazing day. Goodbye, everybody. See ya.